Hey everyone, welcome to a really quick video about storing and selling paintings and things of that nature. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is how to store your paintings. I have a portfolio, just a basic art portfolio. I used to have a plastic one, but the sides <laughs> kind of got destroyed on it. So uh, I got a nice quality leather one to hold all my paintings in because I'll show you here. <clears throat> I hold like 10 pounds worth of paintings in here. There's probably like 50 to 80 in here. So if it's heavy, then the handles are going to rip. So like this one's good quality and the handle's still ripped and I need to tape it up. So get a good quality one. Uh, I keep my bigger ones over here and I keep my smaller and medium sized ones over here. I always keep this in my car in case I go out somewhere or anything like that. I always have it with me. You never know who you're going to run into, who you're going to see. Uh, you never know. You'll probably see somebody on your painting journey. So I just always keep it with me just in case. Uh, the next thing I have business cards. It's always a good idea to get a business card, just basic information on there. And I have my email and uh, phone on here in case anybody needs it, but I'm not going to let all you see that, but it's a good idea to have a business card uh, in case you're doing shows or anything like that, then uh, people know how to get a hold of you for future reference or if they want to spread the word about you or anything like that. It's uh, pretty inexpensive. It's not something you need, but it's a good thing to have. And uh, something you probably noticed in my videos, here. I don't sign my paintings. When they're still wet, you'll see a lot of spray artists sign it down the corner when the paint's still wet. I don't really do live shows. If I do, I just like let the painting dry for a couple minutes and then I sign it with a Sharpie. But always make sure to sign your paintings. You always want to show that it's one of your pieces, it's one of your works of art. So always sign it, <laughs> sign it, sign it whether it's on the front or the back. If the person doesn't want signed on the front, so always sign them. Good idea. As far as uh, selling or uh, shipping your paintings like across the country, I get big things of cardboard. I, I've never really sold them online, but you can get a big thing of cardboard like this. This costs like three bucks at Walmart. But like I said, I, I don't sell them online, at least not yet. But if, if I was, this is what I've heard is the best thing to do. Like take a painting like this size, or whatever size you got and cut like a small gap around the outside relatively the same size as the painting cut out like two pieces that size sandwich the painting between them tape it up wrap it up in like uh, postal paper put all your information probably put a fragile sticker on it so uh, UPS doesn't give everybody a bad day by setting boxes on these and bending them and crushing them and stuff like that that's the only way I really know of to ship them you can use like those, like like uh, big tubes that you can roll up documents and put them in, but you don't want to chip the paint or crack it or ruin the painting because the customer probably won't be too happy with that. So uh, yeah, just that's the only way I know of. Uh, you'll probably want a PayPal account or if you do it through like credit, you'll probably want to get paid before you send it. If you send somebody a painting and they don't pay you, well, you're just kind of screwed. But if they pay you first and you don't ship it, then they're going to spread the word. Nobody's going to buy from you. So you have a reputation to keep up, not so much the buyer. Like I said, I don't really know because I've never done it, but it's just a general idea. Also, people have asked me how much I sell my paintings for. Let me just get out a few here. See, I have like a whole section of small ones and I have like medium sized ones. It really depends on you. I mean, People ask me that, uh, ask me how much I sell them for. That's really your own thing to do. I sell anywhere between, I don't even know, like $10 if I don't really like the painting and it's one I got a lot of, like, like I got a lot of these type of paintings, so I'd probably sell this for like five, 10 bucks because they don't cost that much to make. But generally, like if I'm doing like a fair or something, I'll say, the small stack is 20 25 the big stack is anywhere between 35 and 50 it all depends on what you want to sell them for like a nature one's going to be worth more than just a space one and and so on i mean 
it's all about your preference. You gotta find like with your skill level, what's a good price to price them at, what people will buy them at. I found a comfortable area for where I know what people will buy it for, a good decent quality price. So that's really about it. I mean, I always keep them in my car, store them in a portfolio, always sign them. Business cards are a good idea and use cardboard to ship them across the country. But uh, that's really about it. Sorry, I don't really have more information. If you have any more questions about something like this, I mean, feel free to ask, but you know, <laughs> this is as much as I know. I, I don't go out and sell like hundreds of paintings a day. So uh, I know probably just as much as you guys do. So uh, this video is getting a little bit longer than what I thought. So I'm going to call it good there and hopefully you guys learned something. Got any more questions, let me know and I'll answer them best I can. So thanks for watching and I will see you all later.